it's been cursed. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting to that point. Just hold on. Hi guys, welcome back to Divinity. Or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Vivi and today I'm with Bugsy. Hello. So, what did we do last time, Bugsy? Well, we went and found Gareth, who we needed to find in order to start the whole mission to get on the boat, basically, to mm -hmm. leave the island. Yep. So now Gareth's back at the camp. And he wants us to go and find some wands to use against some bad beasties. Who are some beasties. <laughs> who are guarding the boat. You're right. And we also finally got rid of our colors. Yeah. And now so. we can use source spells. Mm-hmm. Although, we don't have as much of them as I would have liked. <laughs> but hey, you got, you've got uh, less. And I was thinking, I am curious about that uh, door we couldn't go through with the, you know, that Magister who All right, yeah. we had to kill. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if you want to do that because... Yeah. Uh, there might be loot. <laughs> <laughs> and we like the loot. We like the loot. Okay then. What is this contraption? Armory of Brackets Rex. And mm, yeah, this it, looks cool. It does. It looks very different mm. from all the other stuff. You see. Before you stands an ancient shrine, runes carved deep into its rock. Uh huh. Do I want to lay my hands against the runes? Hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let's be brave. You feel the source inside you swell up, filling your chest, yearning to be free. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly what I feel. <laughs> uh huh. You focus, oh well, oh, I focus my power, calling the source to my fingertips. Your mm -hmm. power flows from do. your chest and into your hands. Green tendrils of power slithering from your fingertips across the shrine. The shrine starts to vibrate and glow. Uh -oh. Slabs of stone uh -oh. gliding across each other as it begins to open. Cool. So, what's in it? A corrupted tyrant's helm? Um, should I pick it up or you? You pick it up. Okay. You like the loot. <laughs> so. Oh. Artifacts of the tyrant. What's so that? that's a uh, quest. Um, we found some armor called Tyrant's Helm, part of a full set, it seems. There's something odd about the armor. It seems to have a demonic aura to it. Oh my. Okay, uh, so yeah, you keep it, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, we well, hit the camp. It's not really the docks, but... Back to oh, the camp. <laughs> That's, That's the so screenshot stupid. I need. That's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm melting this. I'm melting it right now. I don't think you can. There we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's over here. There she is. Right. By Armadia's grace, what did you do? Uh. Nothing? Wait, I'm innocent. Uh, oh, she's talking about the statue. 
Yeah, the statue spoke to me. This is incredible. In all my years, I've never seen the goddess bestow her blessing on someone. I am humbled to be in your presence. Ah, uh, well, I... I don't know about this. But Garrett told us to come talk to you and... Really? There's nothing about that. Hmm. Um... Well... Okay, so... I take it this isn't normal? Perhaps once, <laughs> when the seven gods were still strong. But it has been many years since this was anything other than a pond for me to pray at. Yeah, it doesn't look like a pond now, does it? Armadius strength regular waned one. when the divine Lucian accepted the power of the seven. This is most unusual. Okay, yeah, well. Truly we are blessed to know you. If Armadia favors you, that is all I need to know. Go in peace, sister. Oh, there you uh, go. Hang on. <laughs> yeah. We uh we want to talk to you about Gareth. The seeker. I am happy to see that he survived the swamps, but I am filled with dread at what he might do. And and what's that? I cannot hope to hold against the magisters while their crucified weapons stand. And Armadia help the seekers if they were to meet a void woken. Armadia has not gifted me the grace to heal, nor the strength to fight. There is nothing more I can do. Uh, really? Let me try and convince her of something. Intelligence, perhaps. If, if you don't help the Seekers, they're all doomed. Surely there's something you can do? Yes! <laughs> Perhaps you are right. Perhaps there is another path. There's always another it path. Always is. <laughs> I told the Seeker that the soul forged weapons of Bracchus Rex remain hidden in a vault, but the Magisters recovered them before he could. Hmm. And? Gareth failed to reach the armory in town, but there is another vault hidden beyond the Magister's guile. Oh, do tell. If you can hmm. steal away these weapons, your friends may well stand a chance. Right? But beware. Such items are of limited power. If they cease to function, speak to me. I will be able to help. Okay. So, where is this vault exactly? Its entrance lies on a beach to the north of this shrine. Beware. The beach is as dangerous as any corner of this marsh. But you'll do well to find the door. It is hidden by trickery and guile. Bracchus's necromancers forged it, and he made sure they took its secrets to their graves. Okay, well, thank you for the information, <laughs> and uh, we will investigate. Armadia's blessings on you, but pray a moment. Really? No, Are we still not done? This vault also <laughs> contains relics of great power. Oh. Soldiers. If you return these to me intact, I could make an offering of them to Armadia. Her blessing could save many lives. Okay. Okay, I guess we can at least <laughs> watch out for the soldiers. We've been doing a good job at that before, haven't we? <laughs> Yeah, that went so well. Mm-hmm. Yep. We've already f killed these things, so it's not as dangerous as she said it is. <laughs> no, that's that's true. <laughs> okay. Is it? No. Oh yeah, it's here. Of course. It is. It is here. Mm. Fly a garrick mushroom. Oh, what is that? Can make <laughs> potions with those. Yeah. And we've got a reinforced crate. I'm not gonna reach it before you do. <laughs> it's empty, of course it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So what is this thing? Magic, I take it. Mm, it's like a and we need to go field. in there. Um, yeah. But mm. we need to find a way around. So uh, we've got oh what the vault of Rekus Rex suddenly. Hello. Someone appeared. Uh huh. Um, he wants me to show me, show him my. <laughs> uh, turn, what? <laughs> turn away from this pig before you get. Uh... <laughs> nice. So, uh, yeah. The, the, the funny thing is, there are people like him. <laughs> so, yeah. Such a nice fella. Uh -huh. ah. Oh. Oh, okay. Yep. This fella must be quite proud of himself. Oh. Oh Did no. You... What? <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Um. I didn't even so, talk to him. Um. Okay. There's uh three of him. Oh, so one of yeah. them's the real one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, Prince is just gonna have to take this one in front of us. Yeah. So. Hey. Hmm. So um, just chilling, chilling. <laughs> Wait, so what have they got? Like some kind of shield on them or something? No. No. Shield. Yep. I don't know. Suffocating? Did you do that? I Did don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Did I? Ugh. I have no idea. Looks like you did something, but uh, I'll put oil. Yeah, well, he can't move or breathe. That's nice. Oh, God oh. damn it, he walked. <laughs> <All of it. laughs> All right, I've got one over here to deal with. Do they even have something I can examine? Let's see. Immunity to frozen, poisoned, bleeding. And um, so, yeah. Also, it's going to be hard to hit with water and air. <laughs> so, what to do? I could, I could pull him down. I mean, drop him down to Prince. Yep. Well, so my spells are not gonna do much. Oh no! Attack summon. What? The um, the rocks were in the way. Right. I I thought I had a clear path, but no. Okay. So. Finds true. I'm so tiny, you know, so I can't even <laughs> cast the spells. <gasps> oh god, damn it! Okay, uh, that's not good. <laughs> so he likes cold, does he? You. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what else can I do? Press my taggers. Cool. Here we go. All right. Oh. Not Ooh. bad. Be the cheese. Wait, I bet it's a trick. It is a trick. Mm-hmm. Me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Idiot. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't even that much of a trap, you dork. And I knew it was a trap. 
get over yourself. So. Mm -hmm. Right. I'm gonna get you for it. Just you wait. Wait. It's like a whole other area. Yeah. On the left. So. How do we yeah. get in there? Oh. Over here? It looks to be uh, cut off or something. Maybe it's it. But right here. I don't know. Oh. I'm just gonna stay here and wait while you loot the place. <laughs> oh, a crossbow! Oh, that's gonna come in handy. <laughs> Although it's intended. minus one movement, so that might not be. Ah, oh. no, that's. So, there's this secret entrance to the same area or something. Wait. Okay. There was another entrance into here as well. But it's yeah, like I hidden. noticed just now. <laughs> and we didn't see it. Weird. Alright. Well, at least we found one. We did, we only need one entrance to enter, you know? Mm. Something's here. A uh, mysterious room. And a statue. You come to find. You come to search. But you won't find uh -huh. the way. A pity. Oh, really? Challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, how can you be so certain? Bracus has willed it. Trompdoy must abide. You have met the unfortunate guardian of this vault. Yep. I have. Mm -hmm. Fate has been unkind to Trompdoy, and so has Bracus Rex. Yeah, the usual stuff, right? Do you right? wish to move forward? Yeah, I do. Listen closely and make your attempt. Oh. Oh no. Bracus is a bloody, rotten, thieving, very, very awful fellow. Some even call him a cur. <laughs> a cur is... <laughs> uh... Yeah. You've got what? any um, input there, Foxy? Um, <laughs> What's the difference? I don't know. Wait, okay. Is a bloody, rotten, thieving, very, very awful, awful fellow. Mm -hmm. Wait, so... I don't know. Try two. <laughs> Alright, two. You know nothing. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Listen All right. Closely and make your attempt. Okay, let's try to. You know nothing. Oh, for yes. goodness oh, sake. Oh no. Oh no. Now we can't. You lack conviction. <laughs> the doors remain closed. Source is a scourge. So it has to be two then. Misery, mm. I'm clever. <laughs> Perhaps you're not totally incapable after all. Or maybe Trompdoy told you the answers. Is that it? Yeah. Is he probably helping you? Did. What? Oh, what? We... It doesn't matter in any case. The path is open. <laughs> Go freely. Okay. Oh, well. we did it. Cool. I knew this... what he wanted to say there. <laughs> it was a rude thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Madman's enclave? Hmm. Sounds lovely. Ah. Okay. It's just a cool place though. Hmm. Uh -huh. So, can we walk up here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now what? Nothing. Ah! Oh. Okay, here he comes. Crappy crap. Okay. I've got one right in my face, actually. <laughs> Um, I'll go after this guy. Actually, they didn't... Battle Stomp didn't work on them before, so I'll just go for Crippling Blow. 
Yeah. Where did he go? That's... Yeah, he... He, uh... Oh, did he go invisible? Went invisible. So he's probably the one, the real one. I would say. Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> yep, um, it's your turn. Not a lot I can do because you're standing. Oh. Let's use my staff. Mm. Yeah. I can get this one though. Yeah. So inconsiderate of him. Let's see. Um, ooh, nothing's gonna work on this. It's gonna be. Let's see. The same. Yeah. Im the m immunity to frozen poison bleeding. So. Uh, mm, could teleport him somewhere. Hurt him a bit, perhaps. Maybe put... can you put him in front of Prince? I can't put him in front, no. Oh. Well, yeah, but it's gonna be a ways off, but... I think... we can do that. Okay. The, uh, the wall is blocking where Prince is, so... Mm. But now I can't hit him. Oh. Was... <laughs> wait, wait, maybe if I'm... Hmm. Yep. Floating. Yeah. So he won't fall on the ice. Ah. Yeah. It's a good one to have for a tank as well. Mm. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this looks weird. It looks like he's gonna run in mid-air, but... Yeah, let's do that. point of that <laughs> yeah um I no idea did he oh I can take his armor with this demonic steer to source thing nice ah oh, it just takes his magic armor hmm. okay hmm. uh do Reveal yourself. Oh, he's coming. Oh, this way. Mm -hmm. Hey, <laughs> why does everyone oh, hate me? Hey, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> not you. That's not friend. nice. God damn it. Look, I'm, I'm gonna get you. Uh -huh. So that's the real from Doi, whatever. Oh! Yep. Wow. Yeah, so we kill him and it kills the rest. Cool. Yeah. But when he's invisible, it's not that easy, so. Oh! What? Did you find There's something? Skill book. Oh, it's ne Necromancer. <laughs> Uh -huh. And a ring, but it's cursed. Ah, oh. that's not good. Oh, it's a dialogue thing. Oh, really? <laughs> As I pick up the ring, I feel a cold, dark pain shoot up my arm. My mind itches. Oh, take it off quickly! <laughs> it wants me to put it on. <laughs> no, thank oh, you. Oh yeah. 
So it's like it's like sounds the, like a bad idea. The one ring. My precious, you're gonna go around <laughs> saying that for the rest of this episode. <laughs> so that's not. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my gosh! <laughs> That's plenty. Oh. God damn oh, it. hello. Why do I trigger stuff all the time? <laughs> I didn't even yeah, do so anything. Um. What does he think? You made it. Look yes. I'm. Ooh. I'm sorry. He oh really? And seems to shudder with a quiet sob. Okay. I'm cursed, you know. Bloody mm. Bracus bound me here to protect his vault. He has my soul in that jar just there. And I can't leave without it. Uh, okay. As long as the jar stays unbroken, I can never truly die. Uh, what? So you want us to break it? Agree to help mm. him and break soldier. What did he do? What did you I do? I don't rightly know. This was the Source King's way. Befriend you, then destroy you. I was a fool to expect I'd be an exception. His favor was... intoxicating. That's no excuse, but it is the reason. Okay. Ah, oh, so we can either help him or not. Yeah. So... Should we help him? If we help him, he'll be gone for good, right? Mm. So maybe we want to rid the world of this <laughs> guy. You're not here, really? You... You would? Yeah, sure. He drops to his knees before you and grabs onto your feet with both hands, head hanging. Ugh. This is Thank getting you. pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh! I missed it, because <laughs> the reward thing popped up. Oh, okay. Um, well, he is gone now. Where am I? There oh, <laughs> seriously? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Really? Couldn't be, I mean, Yes, we all know I've got big boobs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'm not shy, so fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, there's this cheese piece in this frame here. Oh, really? Oh, it's part of the tyrant. Um, oh. So, it's... um. What is it? What does it oh, say? Oh, it's pretty good for the print. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Try it out. Mm. Oh, it's been cut. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Take it off! Take it off! <laughs> so, um... I take it we're not using that? <laughs> <laughs> no. So, we've got the jar, soul jar of Geratiana. The jar before you may mm. have looked opulent once, but no longer. Now it's covered in grime, its paint chipped away, and its jewels long stolen. The soul jar rocks slightly, light flashing from underneath its lid. On its rim, you can just barely make out the name Gratiana. As soon as you touch the jar's cracked surface, you see a vision of splendor. Silks, fine food, and decadent lechery. But underneath it all lies bone and blood. Of course. The vision shifts. You see burning villages, slaughtered women and children. You see her, purging wand in hand, standing amongst it all. She throws her head back and laughter echoes in your skull. A shadow falls across her, and you see a large, weeping face. She reaches out as if to comfort, but Bracchus drags her back. You see her fall into the mire of the swamp, trapped. As you pull your hand away, you can feel a deep, longing sadness in your soul. Is it regret, 
or just sadness for a life that used to be? Uh, wait, how can her soul... Wait a second. So, aren't we talking to her in the camp? Mm hmm So, how come her soul jar is here? Doesn't that mean she's dead? Uh huh. She is wearing a mask, so maybe she, she is. She's she's actually undead. All right. So we want to take this back to to uh, what what surface? Mm -hmm. I think so. Okay. So Prince puts that on. Uh, it might hurt a bit, but <laughs> oh. He should put the other bit on too. Where is it? Uh, the whole thing. The... Uh, there it is. Uh, it's been cursed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm getting to that, Prince. Just hold on. Please. Did it work? I'm not sure. Looks like it. But I think it did. But now he's got blue nice. fire. Holy fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh god damn it. That's not gonna work. <laughs> well how do you get rid of it? Um I don't know, maybe you need a full set. Oh. Yeah, we need that. The deity's head and hands are missing. Severed as if, as you take in its chiseled details, you have a vision. Where are you going? Comes to life and embraces you. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just gonna. Uh... Unable to resist, you're flown away into an endless dark. I... I've flown away. Wait. That's what? Seems to what the hell? Me here. Oh no. What is oh no. This place? Where'd you go? Did I end up in something similar to what you did? Ah. Oh. Okay, it must be your turn to do it. So, yeah, so you can't see this. No. So, I'm probably going to have to talk to someone, right? Mm-hmm. Just going to have to check out this place. Such a cool breeze here as well. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty. Oh, hello. He looks like Fane, actually, this guy uh -huh. over here. But that's because Fane looks like a dwarf, so, yeah. <laughs> A dwarf of extravagant build, solid and close to the ground, gazes upon the scene below. His brow is furrowed into a hard knot, hands clasped over the hilt of a longsword. Gods at war. Gods at war. I never thought it would come to this. He turns to you and frowns. What do you make of it? Well, um... Those are gods? He smiles, but his gaze remains attached to the scene below. No opinion, then. Who do you think will make it out on top? The lizards? They're the strongest, certainly. But the elves are the most cunning. None can match dwarvish vitality, but humans can adapt to any conditions. Oh, so the other gods are fighting. The scene below is a confusion of battle. Great powers clash against one another. Spells meet spells. Swords meet shields. Um, well, it's hard to tell, but in my experience, dwarves are the best survivors. Mm -hmm. Ha! I admire your pride. And ours is a hardy race, to be sure. But when great powers such as these are at play, we can't rely on either pride or hardiness to save us. He turns to you. 
taking you in with hard brown eyes that both comfort and terrify you. I have brought you here for a reason. I'm sure you have. Do you know me? Um, yeah, yes, I know you. Mm -hmm. His gaze holds you. You realize with a start that you are talking to Duna, the god of all dwarves. Uh, so, where have you been as the dwarvish empire has fallen to ruin? He nods in return. That's not an answer. It is no secret <laughs> that ours are a fallen people. The blame rests squarely on my shoulders. I have made mistakes. Logic holds that if the head is troubled, the body will suffer. But I have a solution. You. You are my god Wogan. My replacement. Uh, uh, so I'm a god Wogan too now? Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's gonna get crowded in our camp, Boxy. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I like the sound of that. You've been set on the path to divinity. You've awoken to this destiny, if you will. And you must see it done if the Dwarven Kingdom is to survive and thrive. Of course. You will be my champion. You will protect our people. I will. Um, I will. Let me show you. Uh -oh. A tremendous power enters your body all at once, as though you dropped yourself suddenly into a pool of water. You are soaked through with energy, with light. Uh, what sort of power is this? You may have noticed I have tried to help you on your journey. I blessed the no, water I didn't. beneath your feet so that it would aid you. Now you have that power for yourself. Okay, well, sounds cool. <laughs> and this is only the beginning. More and greater powers await you, if only you will seek them. This is why I have chosen you. This is why I would not see you crushed by a kraken and swallowed by a tainted sea. Only you and others like you can wield this great power. Uh, hang on. Are you saying you saved me from the Kraken? So there were <laughs> at least two gods down there in the water that day. <laughs> now the choice is yours. Will you use your new potential to raise Dwarvenkind to its deserved heights? Or will you squander it for your own selfish needs? Is that a pun? He's telling me... I am to raise dwarven kind to its deserved heights. <laughs> <laughs> so um, maybe I shouldn't joke to uh, around this uh, god. Um, <laughs> all right. So <laughs> what am I supposed to do then? In time, I will ask more of you. But now your goal is simple: leave this realm and abandon any who would put their petty needs above your mightier goals. You are battling for the greatest of goods, Dwarven dominance. When facing peril, your survival matters above all else, even if it comes at the expense of others. Should you die, the kingdom dies with you. Uh-huh. Yeah. No pressure at all. Ah, okay. Good. There is still much to say. Too much. For now, listen closely to what I say. You know full well I am not the only god. You have seen uh -huh. the great war being waged among us. Do not believe for a moment they are not seeking their own champions. Perhaps even from among your companions. Yeah, about that. Competition is inevitable. Failure is not. We are strong. We must rise. You must lead us. Wow. You will either be my champion or a sacrificial lamb burned at another lord's altar. His eyes blaze with fury. Choose me, or you cast us, the kingdom, and all that is into the eternal void. 
Okay, so uh, <laughs> he had something interesting to say about hmm, some other gods maybe choosing their own champion. <laughs> mm. So um, I I didn't have the heart to tell him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we'll wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.